for like two minutes. It sucked. Because it's not fun. I don't want to have not fun, Scott. I was getting bored. And when I'm bored, everyone that's listening must be bored out of their freaking minds. All right. In an effort to not be boring today, I want to kick off with congratulating you on how far you've gotten in this course. So we're about halfway. I should warn you, though, that the next two sections, which is mental fitness and masculine fitness, are my personal favorites and where I think I can add quite a bit of insight for you and a lot of things that you may not have thought about necessarily and a couple of different practices and ideas for dealing with women. <laughs> All right, so let's chat a little bit about man brain versus woman brain. Let's talk about woman brain first. I think that will be fun. So as opposed to how you as a man typically think, women, when they're in their feminine, so women of course can operate from man brain, which is very logical, very direction orientated, very goal orientated, very chronological, right? It makes sense. <laughs> Things make sense in man brain. Now, when you look at woman brain, it is a cluster of chaos, let's just say. So, of course, women operate in man brain. But when a woman is relaxed into her feminine and she's coming from feminine brain, it's very, very different. So a woman in woman brain is very flowing, very loving, wants to connect. So a woman's biggest driver is love. It's love, it's creating that connection, it's the intuition. So that's another big part of woman brain. It's that, oh, I just have a gut feel, right? Or, oh, I just feel, this is when we start using all of those emotion words, right? That's another woman brain thing is this crazy emotion, um, sea of emotions that women have. And we'll talk a lot about that as well coming up in this same section because that has a lot to do with how we can relate to women and how we can deal with these psychotic emotional swings that women have and these like very serious moods that women get into. There's some really quick, cool, simple tips, simple tips and tricks of things that you can do to shift a woman's mood just like that. And it's not what you probably think it is. <laughs> okay. So that's woman brain. Man brain, like I mentioned before, is very analytical. So there's a lot of analysis that goes on. It's very logical. You're very action orientated. You want to be going in this particular direction. There's, there's a focus. There's an aim. That's man brain. So that's how men operate or that's how anyone operates, thinks, when they're coming from their masculine essence. So when they're in that masculine way of thinking and being in the world, it's very much about doing and it's action. So this is like when there's a problem, let's say there's a problem with the neighbor, right? Uh, we just found out that Susie and Bob are getting a divorce and Susie must move out, Bob must do something, whatever, there's a problem. A man will aim to solve that problem. So maybe it's have a chat with Bob and help him to find a solution. It's very action oriented and it's very quick, let's just get right to the point and let's fix this thing and move on. Whereas a woman, same situation, she wants to go over and she just wants to flow with Susie in this problem. She doesn't want to fix the problem per se, unless she's coming from man brain. So when she's in her feminine, it's that she just wants to connect with that situation. So she will be in the flow with Susie or with Bob or with just the situation itself. It doesn't have to be a person per se that she's connecting and flowing with. She's just in there. So that's where we see a lot of, of communication breakdowns when women just want to be in this situation and men want to do something to change the situation. All right, so that's one part of man brain versus woman brain. Another part I need to touch on is 
the primary fears of each. So the primary fear of a woman in her woman brain is the fear of losing love. So losing a relationship, the fear of being rejected in a relationship, loss of love, loss of connection is a woman's biggest fear. For a man, a man's biggest fear is lack of success, failure. So a man's biggest fear, which is obviously a driving force in a man's life, is success. His biggest fear is that failure. For a woman, it's love. It's this abundance of love. That's success to a woman. And her fear is a lack of that, missing that in her life or losing that in her life. So you can kind of see, if you think about relationships, how you relate to women, you can see already where this need for a woman to potentially cling to you or want those like romantic, intimate moments or want more of your time to, to be and why she's, she's always kind of the keeper of the relationship. So women are typically the keeper of the relationship because that's their primary motive. That's their motivating force is this love and this connection. All right. So something else that I want to just point out to make it very, very clear, man brain versus woman brain and tie all of these things together is when you look at a man's pastimes, right? You'll see things like sport, right? That's an obvious, very logical goal oriented activity. So that's very masculine oriented. So that's man brain. Whereas woman brain, what, what do women like to do? We like to shop, right? So shopping, what, what does shopping do for us? Shopping is like the love of textures, the love of filling oneself. So that's another feminine trait is we love to be full, right? So we want to be full of love. And if we're not being full of love, we want our closets full. We want our cupboards full of food. We want our bellies full of food. We just want to fill things and collect things and gather things. So if we look at movies, right? Chick flicks, what are chick flicks? It's romance. They're all about romance. Reason being, we're motivated by love, by that connection. Men, what are masculine movies all about? It's war, so it's battle. And we'll go into this a bit more in the masculine fitness area, but if you're looking at war and battle movies and sport movies, let's say, it's very much about that analytical, logical, goal-oriented, driven, wanting to go somewhere, achieve something. So you can see it in, in your day-to-day -day lives, in absolutely everything that you do. All right, so I'm gonna wrap it up here, but something that you could think about is just take a few minutes it could be 30 seconds, I don't care. And think about a few situations in your life where you've seen woman brain, but haven't necessarily been able to relate to it. So that's what we're gonna talk about in some of these upcoming modules is how to relate to this crazy woman brain coming from man brain, all right? Cool, enjoy, talk to you soon.